OK, another exit from Ipswich Town before the transfer window shuts tonight. Hayden Coulson has had his loan deal from Middlesbrough terminated. Not a great surprise there. Ipswich have already signed a left sider in, in Dominic Thompson in recent days. And Hayden Coulson hasn't featured since November 2nd because of injuries. In fact, uh, he's only, he departs having only made six appearances for Ipswich Town. Um, just hasn't quite happened for him really, has it, Andy? No, um, disappointing because if if you look at him and all the attributes, he, he he was a good fit for what Paul Cook wanted to do. But I would argue he's an even better fit for what Kieran McKenna is trying to do. With well, he's he's the closest thing to a left sided Wes Burns probably. But um, haven't seen him since the start of November. Um, he's been back at Middlesbrough for treatment in that time. Middlesbrough couldn't get him fit. Ipswich don't feel like they can get him fit. So I think the inevitability there is that the loan would um, the loan would have to would have to come to an end, and as you say, he's he's already been replaced. So I don't think this is a, a huge surprise. Mm. Maybe this one was was doomed from the start. If you remember, it was quite quite the transfer saga back in the summer. He looked all set to sign at one stage, and then he got COVID, and he was down in Cornwall with with uh, Neil Warnock's Middlesbrough side on pre season. Will it? Won't it happen? Eventually, it did. Um, but injuries have just dogged him. I'll read out the six games that he played. He played in the 2-2 against MK Dons, the 2-2 against AFC Wimbledon, where a two-goal lead was, was let slip, then the 5-2 defeat to Bolton. Then the injuries started. It, when Ipswich won 1-0 at Lincoln to finally get off, off the mark, he went off in the 51st minute of, of that game, um, just overstretching from, from memory. And it was uh, that's the first time he sort of tweaked his thigh, which think was the area that, that he'd had issues with in pre-season as well. Returned to the side and played right wing at Plymouth when Ipswich had a, a shortage yeah. of, of options there. Um, I wasn't there that day, but um, looked someone that was, was short of fitness, didn't he? He did. Um, we knew he was versatile, but I, he's a left sider. Um, and when you've been out for six weeks to come into that side, it, it just didn't it just didn't happen for him. That day, it was a bit of a needs must situation, I think, in many ways with with some injuries. Well, that was a time when Wes Burns was out, I believe. I want to say, um, well, yeah, and 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 then to see him sort of, I think he went down once at Wickham, um, and then went down again and, and went off, and ultimately that's the last that's the last we've seen of him. Yeah, that four one win at Wickham. That was the twenty second minute that he went off in that game, and then Cameron Burgess. Returned to to left back to to fill in there, and and we haven't seen Hayden Colden, Colson since. Um, real shame. He's a player that has played a lot of Championship football. At one stage, he was been linked with a ten million pound move to Newcastle at the sort of uh, the peak of the excitement surrounding his progression. Um, but injuries mean that uh, his Ipswich Town career never got off the ground. So back to Middlesbrough he goes.